okay, before we actually uh, learn to play some songs, we still need to know the names of the strings, how we number things, and just kind of how to uh, orient ourselves on the guitar neck. So the names of the strings um, is something you should memorize, and it's this, E, A, D, G, B, E. Now, uh, the first confusing thing we're going to come up on when you're learning to play guitar is we memorize that list from our low string to the high string, but they're numbered opposite. So string number one is actually the high E. So this is string number one, two, three, four, five, six. So we memorize the names going this way, E, A, D, G, B, E, but they're numbered going from the high note to the lower note, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the names and numbers help us orient. We also need to understand um, how we number our frets. Guitar necks will have varying lengths between classical guitars, acoustic, electric, basses. They're not always going to have the same number of frets. So we always start counting them from the nut from our first fret here. So first fret, second, third, and so forth. So if we want to be able to find locations on the guitar neck by string number and fret number, it would be something like this. Say I want to find the third fret on the first string. Well, third fret is going to be this fret. String number one is down here. So that is my note on the third fret, first string. So let's practice and find a few more places. What if I wanted to play the third string, fourth fret? Well, third string is where? One, two, three. So it's going to be this string fourth fret, one, two, three, four, and it's that note there. And that's how we find locations on the guitar neck. That is going to help us to learn to read a chord chart, which I'm going to do in the next segment.